I see so many people getting this one confused. Are they toxic or do you just not like their behavior? Because toxicity can depend on an individual's ability to tolerate discomfort. This never applies to abuse, never ever. But not all the behaviors that we dislike are toxic necessarily. It's important to know yourself very well, your values, what you will and won't tolerate, and to be familiar with and be working on healing your past wounds that are causing you to be triggered so that you can distinguish the difference between toxic behaviors and behaviors that you just don't like. Some of the things that we don't like or that trigger us can actually be indicators to us of things that we need to be working on to improve our own emotional security. So maybe think about this before you call your partner's clinginess toxic or their inability to be completely vulnerable with you yet. We all have past wounds that drive our behaviors and it's important that we know ourselves well enough that we're able to tell them what we need and encourage them to behave in ways that make us feel loved as well as understanding the wounds that caused us to be triggered by their behaviors in the first place. I am not saying that you don't need to leave a relationship that doesn't bring you fulfillment, but there are times to extend compassion and grace, and there are times to understand that you are not abiding by your values and that you deserve better. It's just important to know the difference. Just food for thought.